After consolidating for several straight sessions, gold futures continue to trade in a narrow range. A move over 25.70.40 would spark a new intraday all-time high. Traders will see more data on Thursday and Friday, which could be the next catalyst for the next direction. Traders will have GDP, unemployment claims, and wholesale inventories on Thursday. Market participants have noted recent payroll data, such as initial claims, where expectations are a flat for a flat reading of 232,000 claims filed. Expect any large discrepancy to be a market-moving event. Fed fund futures are now pricing in a 61.5% chance that the Fed will cut 25 basis points at its September meeting and a 38.5% chance for a 50 basis point cut. Fluctuations over the past week have been very consistent, and we expect to see stronger conviction regarding the rate cut after Friday's PCE data and the August non-farm payroll data. Copper and silver futures, on the other hand, have declined 2% nearly on Wednesday, and large banks continue cutting Chinese GDP growth in 2025, where forecasts have now dropped from 4.6% down to 4%. Remember, China remains the number one consumer of copper and silver, and is very important in determining direction of both of those commodities. 